Hi guys, I am Patty Elhoff, the author of Upcycle with Decoupage, and I'd like to show you how we're going to do this wall hanging today. And these are the supplies that you'll need for this project. First thing we'll want to do is take our burlap and apply a, a coat of Mod Podge over the whole piece. Better to have an area too large uh, with the decoupage glue on it. So what I'm going to do is cover an area larger than I need with all of the decoupage glue. For right now I'm going to put this aside to dry. So to do my transfer, I took a piece of freezer paper and a piece of just copy paper and I cut the freezer paper to the same size as the copy paper. I have a little wax paper down here. And what I'm going to do is use the spray adhesive to secure the freezer paper over the copy paper. Now by the way this freezer paper has two sides. Don't want the dull side. You do want the shiny side. Spray adhesive's really sticky so be careful with that. Secure all the edges. Uh, make sure this is dry. You don't want anything going through your copier that's wet or sticky or could gunk up your copy machine. Looks like I have a few little globs here, so I'm going to let it dry for a minute. But I am going through the Graphics Fairy website right now, one of my favorite sites ever. You can download images for free and they're beautiful. I'm going to go transfer an image onto this through my copier right now. Transfer is done. Got my napkin laid out as flat as I can. I'm going to try to line up the transfer as straight as I can. Now I'm just going to run my hands over it just to get that ink transferred off of the freezer paper onto the napkin. we are. Because we're going to decoupage this, I know that the inkjet will run and smear if I get it wet. So I am going to use something that I get from the craft store, the art supply section, called a spray fixative. I think you may be able to use a very fine mist of hairspray from an aerosol can if you cannot get or if you don't have the fixative, I know I've used the hairspray in the past, but it's definitely got to be an aerosol can and you don't want to overdo it. So what I'm going to do is take this outside and I'm just going to spray this lightly with the fixative and let it dry so that when we decoupage it, this doesn't run or smear. This is the fixative. You can also get this over on my website. And if it's not the exact same one, it's still okay. So I'm going to uh, leave this to dry and then we'll move on to the next step. I used a damp paper towel to wipe away any bit, sorry, any bit of the transfer that was left on this so that I can now put this aside and use it again for another transfer. 
Now the fixative spray is dry. The burlap is completely dry. And I'm going to take my iron, and I have the iron on wool setting with no steam. Put your parchment paper over the napkin. Now you want to leave a little room down on the bottom and a little room on the top. And I'm talking probably about three inches. You want to cover the whole napkin, and once your iron is heated up, you're going to iron. This is one of the few times that ironing is fun. <laughs> and you're going to go over the whole napkin. And I'm moving kind of slowly here. I don't mean to leave the iron sit on one spot, but I do want it to, maybe for like a nanosecond, go over the area. Now we pull parchment paper away, and we're left with, like it's quite pliable. I think I'm going to try this on a shopping bag. If I can find a burlap shopping bag, this would be a nice project, huh? <laughs> Here's what our burlap now looks like. The napkin is adhered, it's still flexible. And what I want to do now is take my fabric glue and the fabric scissors, and I'll show you what we do next. Before we go on to the next step, I want to add a layer of decoupage glue over top of the napkin and I'm going to use a matte decoupage glue. I want it to be as flat of a finish as possible. Now that I'm done covering it with the layer of the matte decoupage glue, I'm going to put it aside to dry and to make the ribbon. I just took the strips of burlap that I cut that already have the decoupage glue on them. And you can skip this step if you want. Here's what I did. Separated the napkin. I laid the napkin over the end and put a piece of parchment paper over top. Just fold over what I have here. And just like before, I ironed it. And now I'm just going to tear this. You can do this to the whole strip if you want. So I'm just going to take this, starting with the largest or widest piece I have, and I want to pinch it here in the center. And I actually want to twist this bottom piece so that it's sticking out. And on this one, and I'm going to do it on this one, I took my fabric scissors and I cut it into a point so it looks a little bit more like a traditional ribbon. There's the ends. Now you can use jute for this. This happens to be a, I think it's a paper covered wire really thin but perfect for what I want to do. I'm just going to tie this and all I did was wrap it around and now I'm going to pull it very tight and just twist it. Then I'm going to take my next piece and I'm just going to do the same thing. parchment paper again because I'm going to fold over these sides 
right along the border. Take my parchment paper and iron it flat down. And I'm going to do this on both sides. And now I'm going to take my dowel and I'm going to take my fabric glue and I'm going to wrap this end around the dowel. with different ribbons. This is actually a darker burlap that I could use to hang this with. Here's the tea stained ribbon. I'm going to glue this onto the back. So here's how our wall hanging looks on the wall. And I've got a picture of it here, I'm sorry, I'm picturing it here with the bow on it, and that's how it looks with the bow. And I'll show it to you without the bow. And there it is without the bow. It's up to you how you would like to display this. In the meantime, thank you so much once again. Don't I say this every week, you guys? I really appreciate you subscribing <laughs> and the comments that you make. And I love when you post things on the Upcycle with Decoupage Facebook page. And you really inspire other people. You inspire me. So keep up the good work. Uh, Jennifer over there in England is actually doing some beautiful work and posting it on my page. Make sure you look to see that that work is actually hers. I don't want to take credit for her work. She really does some beautiful work. And I will see you next week with another video, guys. Thanks again. Bye-bye.